Hello and welcome to this lecture where you will learn the basics of programming and how to write code. Variables are words which can be used to store some value which can be a number, some text or some other value. To assign some value to a variable, you simply type the variable name, put an equal sign and type the variable value. For example, here I will create a variable named money. I can use a variable to store anything but with this variable I will use it to store the amount of money the player has. So first of all we need to create the variable. This is generally done in the create event. So here I will create the variable money with the value of 0. So this is called initialization. Now say I need to add 1 to the value of money each step. So for that I will open the step event and here I will type money plus equals 1. So each step this will keep adding 1 to the value of money. Ok, so now we know how to create variables but how do we use them? Actually using a variable is quite simple. So as an example here I will create a variable called a with value of 2 and a variable b with value of 3. So now I can use them in mathematical expressions as I want. So here I will create a variable called c and here I will put a plus b. So now c will become 5 because a plus b is 2 plus 3 which is 5. Functions are used to perform an action or return some value. There are many functions that just perform an action. For example, this function instance create layer is used to create an instance of an object at a specific place at a specific layer. Another function called instance destroy is used to destroy the instance of the object running the code. So here if I run instance destroy, uh, this instance object 0 will be destroyed from the room. The function draw text can be used inside the draw event and is used to draw some text at a specific place. There are many functions that just return some value. For example, there is a function called random. So here if I type a equals random 10, this function will select any number from 0 to 10 for the variable a. There is another similar function called choose. So here if I type a equals choose 1, 2, this function will select any value randomly from the numbers specified inside its parentheses. So here it will select 1 or 2 randomly for the variable a. Say you have some code in the step event, the event that always runs. So the code inside it runs always too. But what if you want to control it? What if you want it to run in certain circumstances and not in others? For that we use conditions. The most common condition used is if. So here if I type this. So first of all according to this code 1 or 2 will be assigned to A. So here this is the condition. So here if A is equal to 1, B will become 2. Because if this condition is true, the code inside the curly brackets runs. But if this condition is false, if A is not equal to 1, then this code will not run. Now here if I type else and again add this curly brackets and here type B equals 1. Here if this condition returns false, if a is not equal to 1, this code after else will run. So if a is equal to 1, this code will run. But if it's not equal to 1, this code will run. That's how conditions work. So we are done with the basics of programming. If you didn't get all of it, don't worry. You'll learn when you start to use code. See you in the next lecture.